Hello everyone. So today we will learn about converting PV diagrams into TS diagrams. Okay, before proceeding further, I would like you to know about these processes like isothermal, adiabatic, isochoric and other basic processes. Only then you can proceed further and know about these conversions. Okay, so I've seen many students getting confused or not being able to convert these PV diagrams into TS diagrams. Okay, so you have seen many PV diagrams in uh, like IC engines, thermodynamics and refrigeration various other subjects and uh, if you want to convert the PV diagrams into TS diagrams you know uh, you should know some basic concepts okay so here we will know about those concepts if let us suppose if this is the PV diagram okay if this is an isothermal process isothermal process in which temperature remains constant so temperature is gonna remain constant one thing we know okay so the plot of uh, isothermal process is gonna look like this the temperature is constant PV the plot is hyperbolic pressure is increasing so the temperature will decrease or sorry uh, volume will decrease and volume is, is increasing then the pressure will decrease so this is the plot hyperbolic plot and you can even find the slope of this curve by differentiating this equation simply differentiating this equation will give you the slope of this curve now for converting this diagram into a TS diagram one thing you know that T is gonna remain constant so we can draw it here that T is gonna remain constant now we do not know that entropy is gonna increase or it is gonna decrease so we have to find out if entropy is gonna increase or entropy is gonna decrease something is gonna happen with entropy it will increase or decrease but we have to find out uh, will it increase or decrease okay so temperature is remaining constant and pressure is increasing if the direction is like this if the pressure is increasing it means some work is being done on the system some work is being done on the system it means the pressure of the system will increase and according to it the temperature should increase but the temperature is remaining constant it means some heat is gonna reject it by the system okay if some heat is rejected from the system only then the temperature can be kept constant one thing we've noted from here that the heat is rejecting from the system and you know that dq is equals to tds and if heat is rejecting then the entropy will definitely decrease it means the direction of this plot will be from here to here so this is for isothermal process so another process is adiabatic process in adiabatic process there is no heat exchange from the system okay no heat exchange adiabatic purely means that there is no heat interaction not the net heat interaction is zero it is not like this it means there is no heat interaction neither from the system to the surrounding nor from the surrounding to the system okay so this plot of the adiabatic process looks like this if the direction we give it a direction from here to here then the plot looks like this PV to the power gamma is equals to constant you can find the slope similarly by differentiating this equation okay for converting this into a TS diagram one thing you know that Q is zero it means for a reversible process you know one thing that reversible processes are represented by a solid line in the diagrams and irreversible processes are represented by a dotted line if it is irreversible process then it will be represented by a solid dotted line here we are talking only about the reversible processes so for a reversible process which is adiabatic the entropy is gonna remain constant so the entropy in the process will remain constant okay but we do not know the direction of this plot whether the temperature is gonna increase or it is gonna decrease so we can find it out by knowing that pressure is gonna increase in this process okay pressure is increasing in the process so if the pressure is increasing then temperature will definitely increase with increasing pressure temperature increases and like in this process we are not rejecting any heat to maintain a constant temperature 
so heat is not going to reject it from the system so the temperature will definitely increase with the increase in pressure temperature will increase because no heat rejection is taking place the pressure that is being supplied to the system pressure is increasing so temperature will increase so the direction will be from down to up so it looks like this okay so for an isobaric process you know one thing that pressure remains constant in this process it means the process is gonna remain constant volume can increase or decrease let us assume that the volume is increasing okay so this is the TS diagram and we have to plot here now we need to know whether the entropy will increase or decrease temperature will increase or decrease if you write the basic uh, ideal gas equation PV is equals to MRT pressure is constant M is constant R is constant with increase in volume temperature will definitely increase so one thing we find out here that the temperature is gonna increase now we need to find out whether the entropy will increase or decrease okay so <clears throat> we know that DQ is equals to TDS and in this process the pressure is remaining constant okay and volume is increasing how can this happen that the volume of the system is increasing and pressure is remaining constant if volume is increasing what does it mean that the system is doing some work okay if I draw a cylinder piston cylinder diagram here volume is increasing it means the system is doing some work keeping its pressure constant how can the pressure remains constant the pressure can remain constant only when some heat is supplied to the system okay or the pressure will decrease with some work done from the system so we are supplying some heat on in order to maintain a constant pressure it means heat is added with increase in heat entropy will definitely increase so temperature is increasing entropy is increasing so the diagram will be look will be like this or it may be this or it may be this now we need to find out which is the correct plot now from the first TDS equation what is first basic TDS equation TDS is equals to du plus PDV okay this is also a form of first law volume is constant sorry Sec we, have, we'll, we need to use second TDS equation here TDS equals to DH minus VDP pressure is constant here so this is this will cancel out and TDS is equals to DH DH is equals to CP DT and if we rearrange the slope we will find the slope that DT upon DS will come out to be equals to T upon CP okay so the slope is T upon CP temperature is increasing it means that the slope of this curve will increase okay slope of this curve will increase and in which of the diagram slope is increasing not this not this this so this is the correct plot and the slope is given by T upon CP we found out this from the second TDS equation so this will be the correct transformation for PV to TS diagram okay let's move to the isochoric process so isochoric process is a process in which volume of the system remains constant okay volume of the system volume of the system is remaining constant it means that okay we need to find out if temperature or entropy will increase or decrease first thing we can find out from the uh, ideal gas equation PV is equals to MRT here the volume is increasing we have assumed and sorry oh this is the wrong diagram I have drawn a wrong diagram this is the right diagram volume will remain constant isochoric process and pressure will increase or decrease we have assumed that pressure is increasing okay so if the pressure is increasing and volume is constant volume constant M constant R constant it means with increase in pressure temperature will increase one thing we have noted here that the temperature is gonna increase now we need to find out if the entropy will increase or decrease okay so D Q is equals to TDS okay so the volume is constant here volume constant means and the pressure is increasing what does it mean 
वी आर डूइंग सम वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट सॉरी वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजिंग इट मीन्स दैट द पिस्टन इज नॉट मूविंग एंड इफ द प्रेशर इज कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीजिंग इट मीन्स द टेम्परेचर विल इंक्रीज वॉट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स वी आर सप्लाइंग सम हीट दिस कैन ओनली हैपन वेन वी सप्लाई सम हीट ओके ओनली देन द प्रेशर कैन इंक्रीज एंड द वॉल्यूम इज रिमेनिंग कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट इट मीन्स द पिस्टन इज फिक्सड हेयर बट द प्रेशर इज इंक्रीजिंग दिस कैन ओनली हैपन वेन वी सप्लाई सम हीट ओके सो हीट इज बींग सप्लाइड सो एंट्रोपी विल इंक्रीज एज द हीट इज इंक्रीजिंग एंट्रोपी विल इंक्रीज सो द डायग्राम विल लुक लाइक दिस दिस और दिस now we need to find out what will be the exact plot if we write here the first tds equation tds is equals to du plus pdv it gets zero v constant if we solve this keeping it c v dt we will find out that the slope will come out to be dt upon ds is equals to t upon cv so temperature is increasing so the slope will increase with increase in temperature slope will increase so temperature is increasing so slope will increase the correct plot is this so this is the correct plot as we can see that the both of the plots for isobaric and isochoric processes are same but there will be some difference in their slopes we can find out the exact slopes by putting the values of cp and t in these equations and we will find that there will be some difference in their slopes okay they looks similar but there is some difference in the slope for different gases okay so now in our next video we will learn about the polytropic process the concepts of polytropic process what is a polytropic process and how to convert a pv diagram of polytropic process into a ts diagram okay so goodbye for now thank you